The sciatic nerve block can be used for surgery of the leg, knee, foot, and ankle. To do the sciatic nerve block, you can block it at the popliteal region or you can block it higher. Some benefits of blocking it higher are to be above the tourniquet so you don't have to worry so much about nerve ischemia. You may also get the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh which comes off very high on the sciatic nerve and it's also medial to the sciatic nerve as well, high up. This way you can cover any kind of pain of incision in the upper thigh area. To position patients for the subgluteal sciatic nerve block, we push, position the patient lateral. This way the patient is comfortable, they can be well sedated, and you can place a probe on the posterior side of the leg and advance the needle from lateral to medial. The probe we use for a sciatic nerve block is a curvilinear low frequency probe. The reason we use this probe is because it penetrates deeper and this is useful in larger patients. So some of the landmarks we use for the subgluteal sciatic nerve block are the greater trochanter laterally, the ischial tuberosity medially, and directly in between these two is where we place the probe. The initial view we see is the greater trochanter on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the screen we see the ischial tuberosity. There is a large muscle, the gluteus maximus, at the superficial level of the screen. Underneath the gluteus maximus is a hyperechoic nerve, the sciatic nerve. Between the two bony landmarks is the quadratus femoris. So at this level, the nerve is sandwiched between the gluteus maximus and the quadratus femoris. The nerve here can appear wide, flat, or triangular. It is not a circular structure like some people imagine. Needle approaches for the sciatic nerve block, whether it be here at the mid femoral region or higher up at the subgluteal region, are performed from a lateral to medial approach. The lateral to medial approach usually starts three to four centimeters away from the probe in this angle. Now, higher up, we'll use the same needle approach we can see the triangular sciatic nerve here and we'll start the needle angle about here. I typically put my nerve on the distal side of the screen from where my needle is entering in order to see the needle better and traveling across the screen to the nerve. Typical volumes are 20 to 30 milliliters of local anesthetic. Because this nerve is so deep in some people, some anesthesiologists like to approach this nerve from an out-of-plane needle angle. An out-of-plane needle angle would be in this direction to the sciatic nerve. Other people like to turn this probe in a longitudinal direction and see the nerve in long axis. So here we are turning the probe in the long axis and following that nerve in a longitudinal pattern here. So now we see the sciatic nerve going down the leg the needle approach in this orientation would be in this angle in plane of the ultrasound beam down to the sciatic nerve. Here you can see the greater trochanter on the left side of the screen, the ischial tuberosity on the right side of the screen, the gluteus maximus superficial, and a 21 gauge needle advancing to the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is below the gluteus maximus and above the quadratus femoris. Our needle is advancing above the sciatic nerve to attempt to get local anesthetic to spread to the medial side of the nerve, which would be more likely to get the larger tibial component as well as the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Now you can see the nerve, which is very hyperechoic, below the local anesthetic.